All right, guys. Hi, how's it going? We are going to um, talk today about how to upload pictures onto Google Classroom. I know um, you guys have been having a lot of trouble with that. And some of you have, have asked me on the Zooms how to do that. And so I'm just going to create this video and upload it to Google Classroom, put it on my Classroom website, just to kind of help you guys out. So here you go. All right, I um, have added myself to my sixth grade, sixth period class um, to show you guys. So I'm going to go in and go to my classwork and let's say that I am doing my book work here. So, whoops, let me delete those first. So here's my book work. I am doing it right now. I've done it, I did it in my book, now I need to take the pictures. So let's say I took them on my phone and I need to send them from my phone to my email. Well, maybe you don't have, um, you don't have your email set up on your phone. That's okay, you can send them as a text message on your phone. So let's say I need to send my, my book work on my phone. So let's just act like this picture right here is my book work. So what I'm going to do, and everyone's phone might be a little different, but you can send it as a text message to your email. So I have it set up as my phone, just like I'm going to send a text message. And in the to part where I would type a phone number, I'm going to send it to my email. So instead of typing in a phone number, I'm going to type in my email. So I would type in my school email and I would hit send. So instead of sending it to a phone number, I'm sending it to my email. And it would come from my personal phone number to my email. And then I would save it and I would download it onto my computer. Okay. And once you've done that, then what you're going to do is you're going to come over to the side where it says your work and you're going to click add or create. And from there, if you don't have it in a Google Doc or in your Google Drive, you're going to click add file. You're going to click browse. You're going to click pictures or you're going to click downloads. And from there, that's where you're going to find your pictures. So say this was the picture that I need to upload. I'm going to click open. And it's right there. I need to add another one. Add or create. File. Browse. Let's say it's not in my pictures. Let's say it's in my downloads because I downloaded it from my email. I go to downloads. Okay, there it is. Open. This one's a little bigger of a picture, so it's taking just a little bit longer. And there it is. Oh, because that's a video, that's not a picture. Okay. I'm going to delete that because it's a video, not a picture. But same thing file browse and let's look for a picture because they're all videos so everything in my downloaded is videos and documents not pictures sorry guys so I would go to pictures and I would scroll down and I would find a picture hi everyone loves pie so open and then it uploads. And then when you're done uploading those pictures, you click turn in. And it says two attachments will be submitted for chapter three, lesson five. Those are the two attachments. You want them to turn them in. Turn in. Okay, there's your work. It's turned in. And then when I see that, I see that you turned in your work, you did your questions, you did your highlighting. Or maybe you turned in... Um, a paper that you wrote the answers down on a separate sheet of paper or a paper that you printed out and took a picture of, okay? It does not matter how you do it, 
but that is how you upload pictures of something you took to Google Classroom. Okay, if you have any questions, please feel free, shoot me an email um, or give me a phone call, but that is how you do it, okay? Have a great day.